A uh, cough in people's ear, I mean. Hello, the internet. I mean, I like it best when you do um, include your audio, that is, because then it doesn't sound like I'm talking to myself for, like, the whole time. But I also understand, like, if you're coughing and you don't... Because there's times when I just unplug my mic because I've been coughing. Yeah. 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 I can just... Zydrake comes in a little glass vial, you. You know? Or... Where I just, like, repeat everything you say as a question, and then respond to it. <laughs> nah, I don't think I'll do that. That's, that's fucking tedious. I did that for a little bit with, uh, Gurfy because I knew her audio would never be included. Sup? Should I travel to Merkmire? There's a chest over here! Ooh, wait, I have lockpick. I'm gonna waste a lockpick. Wait, do you, do you, are you able to lockpick? Do you have that skill or no? I, I have some if you don't. Okay. <laughs> Meet Regagle, everybody! Oh, wait, I have to do, um, prefer player, or prefer character name to log interface. Prefer, yeah, prefer character name. <laughs> Regagle. A plus. <laughs> I am. I'm straddling this chest, ready to make sweet, sweet love to it, for it is wood and I adore thee. <laughs> it's all in the name, baby. <laughs> but yeah, he's been flirting with Signet for some reason. For, like, she showed up in the, you know, the uh, leather outfit from Vampire Suck, because that's like one of her face claims. Well, anyway, she showed up in that outfit and asked the guys, what do you think of it? And he growled. Ooh, if somebody showed up like that with me, I, you know, some, like, gross manly man thing. And I was just sitting there like, boy. We all know you for the butts. Anyway. I attempted to force the lock by pressing X. It did not work. What is that? Is that is that yours? That green and black thing? Is that following you? Wait, do I not have auto loot on? Do I have to change my interface for like Okay, and so some gameplay option. Like, the audio stayed the same.
I'm gonna just for convenience sake prevent attacking innocents and consolidate area loot, auto loot, yes. Uh, prevent stealing placed items, auto add to craft bag. Tutorials off. Same energy as. Sorry, baby, mommy can't play with you. Mommy's got a stream. Although I don't usually do that. Usually I invite him to sit in my lap and cuddle with him and talk to him. But sometimes if he's being particularly obnoxious, I'll be like, ugh. <laughs> so I love your pet, by the way. Very gorgeous. But yeah, the whole like growling across characters, purring across characters, everybody's demisexual, everybody can fucking tell when you're lying. And now apparently every chick is a pole dancer. I'm gonna put a sconce here on the pole. Okay, maybe I won't, because, like, I have written pole dance choreography pretty well, like I did with Trent and Nathaniel, you saw that. But, I don't know, man, I might have them do, um, I might, like, do, like, a joking thing and have the dudes do, like, some kind of chair dance to Macho Macho Man. <laughs> Something just fucking ridiculous, like, oh, the women are all trying to be sexy, tee -hee, and then the men on my end are just like, macho, macho man, I've got to be a macho man. <laughs> I wonder what the women on my side would do. Oh, did we fish this hole out? Okay. I wonder what the women on my side would Oh, I am not set. Wait, can I access my mounts before I'm level 10? I can. Okay. Uh, mounts. Yeah, I hear you. I'll just, I'll just do like a generic, just regular horsey horse, because I'm not my sister, okay? I don't ride the wolf. I am a wolf. She rides the wolf because she has penis envy. <laughs> but like, shifter. She has shifter penis envy. Yeah, so the name Regal was already taken, but Regagle wasn't. And I find that highly, highly amusing. I mean, I knew Regagle probably wouldn't be. But, yeah. I don't think they should. I, I mean, I don't think they would because, like, there's no reason to believe that it's not, like, a legit name. You know what I mean? Okay, one sec. One sec, I got a cunt. I mean, I have to, yeah, you know what I mean. One hand it. Ooh. Do a destruction staff next. I'm, I'm doing all my skill lines just to be a twat. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought I could harvest that flower, but no, it just like, it just like exploded at me and made me sad. Here I go, prancing through the flower. 
I'm prancing. Do you see me prancing? That's fair. <laughs> Hands off, or I will gut you like the rest. Sharpie! What? Never seen an assassin get put out of work before. Mm. You? You're not one of these third-rate assassins, I can tell. But if you or anyone else puts a hand on me, I'm answering with my axes. I've been cutting down these mer- okay. And listen, don't mention me to Han. It probably won't do you any favors. I love Sharpie. I love him whether I'm a chick. I love him whether I'm a dude. If I'm straight and I'm a dude, once I see Sharpie, I ain't straight no more. So my inventory carries across like all my characters on my on the server. Oh uh, yes. No. Okay. Oh okay okay. Okay cool. So I don't need to visit the fence. Please, Han. They're not just flowers. They're... Surely a man of your talents can grow more. Now, move. Oh yeah, we Others were going to do a plotline involving flowers. We still eventually need to do that. I know you haven't. Yeah, I I know that you haven't. I know you haven't like really been up for writing, your and that's okay. It's just like. Braylin. Be quick about it. Meet me at the tavern when you're done. Yeah, and I haven't really been in a, like, I've been in more of a banter mood for the past, like, few months, as you've noticed, but, and, and it, like, somebody actually did, uh, reply to one of my starters, and it took me forever to just write them a paragraph back, but I also got, like, hella responses from Bex today, and I was like, hmm, I don't actually have anyone interesting to reply to to make her wait, and I want to write right now, so, yeah. I just threw off some basic ass responses. But, also, apparently Trophy likes fish now. Mm -hmm. Fish delish, more fish? Yeah. yeah, I decided to have my characters acting like chill-ish today. I flowered it. Dry Cortons astounding. Are you here? I need more time. Please. Yeah. It's understandable. Yeah. And the reason the reason I haven't like pushed you for replies is because I know that you've been dealing with a lot of shit and I don't know like what the balance is oh, between brain. distracting Lux, you and you like today. pushing you to Shut do something it, you don't want to do. No when to quit, lady. Okay. 
odious, oily bastard. I wish someone would claw out his other eye. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. A blob. Please, help me see better days. I made a mistake. Please. Okay. He does. Come here, boy. Let me get a piece of that. <laughs> Gosh. I hate it when people do that, honestly. Like, unless they're wearing, like, a skirt or something, wearing flesh-colored pants is, like, gross. I, I don't have a nudity taboo. I don't have a problem with nudity. But, like, either be... Yeah, either be naked or don't be naked. <laughs> but don't do that. <laughs> oh, you know what? Nylon stockings, nylon tights, um... They break too easily. Let's just make fucking flesh-colored pants, because they're durable. You can't just go making claims about this cordial. Memory, <laughs> them, you know what would be better is if they wore them with a form-fitting uh, flesh-colored t-shirt. Just need to find a steady supply. You'll get a return. Or like one of those like sparkle, well, like sparkly padded tops flower, that drag flower. queens wear. It's like it's skin color. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. That Serena. And Serena doesn't wear those tops because she thinks they're gimmicky. And she's a fucking snob. Like, if it's a silky pajama bottom or something where it's not, like, completely form-fitting, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, because I sure won't. Yeah. Actually, Crocs makes wedges, wedge heels, and I was thinking of getting a pair of, like, wedge heel Crocs just because they they would look better than the sandals I currently have, but... Yeah. The classic Croc, yeah, I hate those. Lucy... They're, they're not comfortable. They will give you a blister if your feet are sweating. Oh yeah, I got the... I got the sandals... Okay. I got the sandals that I have that are also foam plastic at like Walgreens and the pair before that Daiso. They were super cheap. So.
Uh-uh, I avoid those. Uh-uh, I avoid those like the plague. Wait, there's horse here. Let me let me talk to horse. Don't ask me about it. Oh, I don't have money. Okay. Um do do I travel? <sighs> yep. Yeah, I like wedges and I like I actually don't really like the style of the sandals I have and that's why I want to ditch them for croc wedges because the croc wedges believe it or not look more elegant than these and I would like I want to look good and feel good at the same time I'm not gonna be walking around in flip-flops and sweatpants no I did that for a few like I actually did that for like a year after I had my baby, and I'm done with that. I'm going back to being stylish. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes you kind of dress like your characters, and you, like, do your hair like your... So you have, like, a sense of style that you exercise on occasion. Oh, well, you don't go out, so. <laughs> hey, told you I'd find you. Looks like debt collection notices. Not helpful to us. Blah, rot math. Makes me wish when I was, I was in high school, I was like this known for place? being fashionable, like but not like woman. not like pretty girl fashionable, but like terrifying queen of the night fashionable. And I kind I feel like I peaked. I I kind of want to get back to that. Wait, no, no, I missed something up here. Hold up. Talk to Sharpie, Sharpie baby. Let me see that letter. So, I love his voice sure. so much, a bit. Meet and I dead. feel bad about and speeding don't... through these, but whatever. Hmm?
I am so sorry. I used to wear... F I used to wear four inch heels that were like D-ring studded boots to school, to high school every single day. I used to wear a flowing black cape and opera gloves. I was so extra. And I even wore those heels during gym class. They didn't really do me any favors, but damn did they look nice. <laughs> You there. You look like a king. Can we talk? Hmm. Uh, there's no such thing as too much eyeliner, first of all. <laughs> yeah, that was me in high school too. Black and black lipstick. <laughs> oh, that's how you get the hair to be poofy like that. See, I always wanted scene hair, but I never was able to get my hair to behave like that. You there! You look like a capable foreign. Yeah, no, I know how to put curlers in my hair and how to comb coconut oil through my hair and I know how to use a flat Have iron and that's about it. The wisdom of the I've tried using gels and sprays and stuff, but I hate it so much, so no. I scouted ahead. Stay ready, alright? Wait, those lanterns. Crouch down and you'll see it. I'm gonna follow you while you're following the show because I'm too lazy to crowd. Meet you there. Old Isra is on the I don't know, it sounds really hot. <laughs> like, as impractical as it is, it sounds like the kind of person I'd see on the street would be like, Oh my god, who's she?
See, I don't want to be fat and ugly in, like, casual clothing for, like, it was okay for a phase, but I, you know, I got fixed. So that's like my, I'm in a different situation. So yeah, I got fixed and I want to be, I don't want to let myself go like Bex did. Cause she actually used to know how to do her makeup, how to dress, how to do her hair. Like I've seen pictures of her from before that and she fucking let herself go. Like she's not just ugly because I hate her. She's fucking tragic because she had potential. And I'm running at the marker, but I think I went the wrong way. Wait, hold on. Head to old Isra. Do I need to find Mevi? Oh, I guess I'm going the right way. I'm just, I guess I'm just used to weight shining. Because I'm used to, like, I tr like, I'll travel with you, and you'll just be like, okay, travel to me, okay, travel to me, okay, travel to me, and I'm like, okay. So this is, I guess, oh, hello. What's up, River Troll? What? That's like something like, it's okay for you to say it. It's not okay for someone else to say it. Yeah, I have, yeah, I have my dad's facial structure, so I've been called like a man face looking bitch before, and I'm like, I know. <laughs> I know if I wear my, if I, yeah, if I wear my hair short, I, if I wear my hair short enough and I bind, I See look that? like a dude. Two lanterns. And I'm That's perfectly cool with that. So somebody like trying to say that to insult me is like, uh, I'm bi gender. Shop I literally not. do not care Azura, what you think, years, what really sex you? you think I look like. <laughs> I was afraid you'd say something like that. I don't know you. Yeah. Like, Rainilla would say that you are under no obligation to help. But please. I'm on my way. Where are the smugglers' tunnels you mentioned? I think there's a secret entrance in the southwest tunnels. I'll follow short. I wish Loki would I wish Loki would dress me up and take me on a date. What the fuck? I'm still trying I'm still trying to get him to wear an eyeliner and kilts for me. I want him to cause 
I want him to cosplay Lachlan for me. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell. I am not gonna tell. Oh my god. I am pretty. I just like to emphasize how pretty I am. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not. There's a, no, I wear yoga pants too, dude. It's not even a, th like, there is a difference between you being just comfortable. Okay, there's a difference between you, like, being comfortable and her just try, and, and the thing is, is that you've married, you've settled down into your life, you know, you're, you're happy with your partner you know, or you're, at least you're not planning to, um, there goes the bride. <laughs> so, you know, you're, you're settled into your life as a married woman with kids. Okay. So that is vastly different from someday my dark prince will come while I look like a sack of potatoes. That's why I, that's why I say she's letting herself go because she's not putting any effort into being the kind of person somebody like that would want. Some, no, somebody has. Two people have. Two people have legitimately thought that she was so beautiful and they were so broken up about losing her. Okay. One of them was a recovering speed addict. No, it's not speed. Sorry, spice. Recovering spice addict who had had a stroke. Yes. Uh, who had had a stroke and who um, had like a very severe stutter and he lived out in Bumblefuck, Wales. Okay. And he was like, I can't remember if he was missing teeth, but he was no prize himself, okay? Um, nice person, you know, but not that great, bad, you know, not such great taste in women. And then the other person was Josh. And these are both people that she had been with like a couple, of, well, Josh was last year and then the other guy was like the year before that. Well, you said no one's trying to hit on, and technically, but yeah, no hot guy. <laughs> but like, not someone who looks like Loki, for example. Yeah. I don't know what Jaime looks like. Yeah, I don't know what Jaime looks like, but like from what you've described of him, he does sound like he's an at least, at least like medium attractive man. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Gilly's adorable, so... So he's like cute fat. Yeah, he's like cute fat. Like, I had a boyfriend who... <laughs> yeah, no. I had a boyfriend who was like very, very fluffy and who had this adorable baby face. Uh, unfortunately, he also had a turtle dick and a Grand Canyon size worth of insecurities. 
and mommy issues. So, you know. <laughs> I, and I was like off and on with him for five years. But no, I mean, your husband, he sounds like an attractive man. And, you know, well, obviously you're attracted to him, you know. Um, it, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, and it's part of it is in the way you wear it. Like, I know a woman who is like 400 ish pounds. Her name's Shannon. She's one of, I consider her one of my one of my good friends, and she has the sweetest personality. And I don't call her an ugly fat potato because. She is very confident. She is very sweet. I have never had any reason to like call her an ugly fat bitch because she's not ugly and she's not a bitch. You know. Um, contrast with someone who is at least like 150 pounds lighter than she is, but is most certainly a bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna call them an ugly fat bitch, <laughs> even though they're thinner than the fattest person I know. <laughs> You're here after all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and like that ex that I make fun of, um, so she gained a whole lot of weight and she she did not look she did not carry well, she did not look good with it. She's still thinner than me. One time during a threesome, she said that she was afraid to have me on top because I might crush her to death. To a guy that we picked up off off of Tinder, and I was like Bitch, you did not say that to me with your ugly yellow meth teeth. <laughs> she she never she never did meth, but anyway. Okay. Like, okay, so I was very, you know, I grew up in the, um, partially in the system and in the body and all that. I, I was very private about a lot of things. I, I had told him before, do not tell people my real name. Do not tell people where I go to school. Do not tell people what city I live in even, you know, because we have like joint dating profiles. Well, she would like go and chat up soon. She's like, oh yeah, we go to you know, the college that we went to. We go to such and such college and we're from South such and such. And I was like, literally told you not to say it. What if he's crazy? What if he tries to kill us and then I'm gonna have to kill him back? Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Like, 
What what if he's crazy and he tries to kill me and then I have to try and kill him back? That's not gonna end well for anybody. And yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's that's horrible. I'm so sorry. But yeah. But yeah, don't fucking tell people personal shit about, like, people ask, you know, people would ask, like, these basic-ass questions that always get so defensive, like, uh, what do you do for a living, where do you work, uh, where are you from, or what part of the city, you know, do you live in, I'm like, I'm not gonna tell you all, uh, all of that, we can, you know, we can fucking meet at Starbucks, we can meet at Starbucks on the west side, that's what you can know about me, you can know this is the name, and they'll be like, oh, is this, you know, is this your real name? It, well, not necessarily this your real name, but I, I have like a variety of names that I would go by, right? And I'd say, okay, so I have a pen name, a stage name, et cetera, et cetera, because I was an artist, I was a performer, right? I'd say, oh, but what's your real name? My real name is whatever the fuck I tell you my name is. I'm not telling you the name on my legal ID. I'm not telling you the name on my passport. No, that's not going to happen. Because I have a very unique name. So. I would even like, when I visited, so I had a boyfriend who went to a different college at one point, he was a terrible person, more on that later. Um, when I visited my boyfriend's college, I wouldn't even tell them like what my major was. I wouldn't tell them anything about me. Oh, oh I had this one guy that I met online, like, I, and I told him, you know, I'm a role player, I have so many different accounts. He's like, but which one's your real name? Uh, none of them. As far as you know, all of them. But none of them. Because they're role playing now. Because I'm a role player. Like, you told me your name, you know, because you wanted me to know it. I didn't go asking. And also, like, you have a fairly, like, regular name. Like, you have a normal name. So, it's, if I'm talking about. You know, someone was shooting, I could be talking about like anybody, and I'm not like using your full name or anything like that. Like your, you know, first class or anything like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well,. Maybe, maybe it's because I live in California, okay, so I've heard, like, almost every name. Uh, <laughs> like, my, my therapist even, she says, you know, oh, you know, I've never met another her name. I'm like, oh, really? I know, like, five. <laughs> I was just, yeah, um, but my... Right. 
my point being that mine is, is super uncommon in the United States. Like, this is why I use an alias pretty much every day. Like, there was a point where I was using my real name on the app, but then I realized that, that first of all, I have to keep telling people how the fuck to pronounce it. Second of all, it's so, like, unique. It's so, um... Like, it, it's so obviously not a common American name that I, for my own safety, I cannot use it. Um, it like, uh, in that kind of environment. Like, roleplay, fine. Everybody will assume I'm a Marvel chick. You know, most Seagans on Facebook are Marvel chicks. Um, but, like, on fucking Tinder? No. No. Absolutely not. Okay, Cupid, no. I got banned for those, a for those apps, ironically, for catfishing, by the way. When... No, actually, the, the reason they thought I was catfishing is because I was using social scripts. So I was like saying that I was like sending the same message and I would swipe right on like everybody. So I was, I I was using social scripts, sending the same messages to like 50 plus people. So they thought I was like a bot or something. And then uh, on a couple times I had like accounts with my, with my girlfriend at the time, couples accounts with her. And we would just kind of be bitches to some of the guys that we matched with. Like, in our defense, they were completely pathetic and it was like shooting fish in a barrel. But we were just such assholes that we got reported a bunch of times. So I got banned from, from OkCupid, okay Bumble, and Tinder. I think my Plenty of Fish still exists, but I also changed my name on it. Like, I was using a stage name for a while and now it's Serena because that's such a fucking common ass name. At, like, it's a common literary name. Like, there's at least 10 Serena's I've read in books. And then, like, as a person's name, I've heard it a few times and, like, nobody ever questions it. So, it's, it's a lot easier and safer to go by. And plus, like, if I tell them, if I, like, point them to, well, not, actually, no, I can't point them to Serena Bishop because that account has pictures of my family and my baby. So, I can't do that. But, you know. If I didn't have that. <laughs> Am I still dumping everything into Stam? Okay. I'm gonna... Okay, alright. Finding you, okay. Shop, please help her. Kaj Kuje? What are you doing here? What did you just call me? Rinilla, I'm here. Just stay still. Sharps VA should do ASMR. <laughs> Let's see, talk to dead chick. I didn't have time. Talk to Stay with me, love. Please. Lizard chick with boobs. The world is darker without Talk to Sharpie. We were too late. Talk Nothing to Sharpie about. again. Doing okay? Rainilla got you this far. I'll take you the rest of the way. And then I'm never coming back to Morrowind. Where are you taking her? You've made your path clear, Sharp. If you fail at taking out the Reformer and fall under his control again, <laughs> it's better if you don't know. Still baffles me how the Sharp, Reformer is like talked up as this evil crazy us. guy, but you, you actually read his note and he's just like, to be he's just so madly in love with Sharp. I love him so much. Okay. So, current companion. I'm going to set myself a current companion. Uh, 
Oh. I don't have anything quick slotted. Let me change that. Do to do to do. As I waste your time. Let's see. It's a container. Yay. Let's see. It's trash. Okay, slottable shit. Ooh. I should eat that meal. I have a sip of health. LOL what? Okay, so I morphed one of my abilities, and now it's a stamina ability. Hooray. And then let's try... Can I morph this one? I can morph. But they're both, like, magicka, so I'm gonna wait on that. do 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 do, -do. Do my fucking race. My passive race skills. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. My race skills won't be overridden when I werewolf, will they? Okay, cool. So I'll level my passive race skills for now. And then as for my active skills, um. Whoa, hold on. Am I in the right place? I'm gonna travel to player. Do 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 do. I'm really glad that you weren't in that situation with Jessica one. Like, as as horrifying as that is for her, I really, really should not say this in public and on stream, but. Her behavior kind of brought that on her. Like, it's unpopular to say, or it's, uh, yeah, it's an unpopular opinion. It's an unfashionable opinion. She did, though. Yeah, she did, though. Like, it, you can't really pussyfoot around it. It's like, oh, well, it's the rapist. Yes, yes, but also, if you know that there's, like, a child abduction ring in your city, yeah, it's the fault of whoever adopts your child for adopting your child, but also you still don't want to leave your scroller unattended for half a second. Now you're thinking with stupidity. Okay, actually, hold on. I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. <sighs>
Okay, I'm back. While we were on the subject of Crocs, I intended to say this, but I completely forgot. Um, Lucius has a pair of Crocs. And, like, I just saw one of them on the floor, but they were, like, free Crocs. Or, you know, they, they were gifted. Like, we didn't go to the Crocs store and buy Crocs for him. Selling, buying, trading right here. Am I traveling? Oh, uh, okay. Never pay off the debt now. Let's get out there. Let's hear it.
Hi, low. So Lucius actually has fun. They were like a gift. Um, we didn't like go to the croc store and buy baby crocs. But whenever they have like water, they, they call it water play day at school, which means something completely different to a preschool than it does to me. But okay. Anyway, <clears throat> so whenever it's water play day at the preschool. Um, we put him in his little baby crocs, which are actually a, a size too big for him. But you know what? Baby crocs! <laughs> Ew! Ew. I love how disgusting the water here is. Let me roll around in it like a piggy piggy pig pig. See what you're made of. I'm a mighty oinker. I'll catch back up with you in a sec. I was looking for fishing. Occasionally they have fishing here, but today is not that day. But, I mean, I couldn't find any fishing, fishing spots. Couldn't find any spots. There was nothing jumping in the water. But... Move, I'm gay. <laughs> That's exactly the reaction I was expecting. Thank you. <laughs> I 
you're looking for someone to kiss your shoes, you'll want Trent. Which brings to mind, there was this cracked article that pointed out that the animated mice, or the mice in the animated Cinderella movie, when one of them like cozied up in her sh in her glass slipper, is like, oh yeah, he's bathing in her foot sweat right now. I'm like, ew. Because I had to suffer through that, so do you. Gave Sharpie the cute little tentacle demon thing, and here I am riding a basic ass horse on purpose. Gave him a little tiny waist and a badonk. I was actually, I was taking a look at Sharp's body when I dressed us both up like this and he's got a nice, he's got some abs. Damn, everything about Sharp is so appealing. I want a Sharp waifu pillow. I want a life-sized sharp plush. Like, I could, I actually probably could find like an Argonian body pillow, but not just any Argonian, I want sharp. <laughs> I don't see what, where? Oh, that? I see. Our Vermeus Mara compels you? be able to do this and then I need to sleep because he's going to school tomorrow and I want to work on projects. I got to, so I screen recorded both those movies. I actually should not have screen recorded Mac and Rita because it didn't actually have Paul Welsh in it. My mistake. But I could delete it and free up the like three gigs or whatever it took up. Um, another one. I cleaned thing. out my trash can. You have an intelligent look about you. 
Greeting. I have an intelligent I'm look in. about me. Apparently. At all. I'll see you there. So. Yeah, I cleaned up. <laughs> I um, cleaned out a couple of trash cans. Like, I had to fill them with hot water and throw some ca cascade pods in them because uh, they were they were really nasty like changing the bag like when I took out the bag it was really nasty inside because like I'm the only one who ever actually throws away trash here like Loki will take the trash to the dumpster but I'm the one who like the throws away the trash in the house. Begins. Right. it was so nasty so, and they haven't dried yet, so we're using paper bags as trash cans for the time being and hoping the baby doesn't try to get into them. He got into the donation bag, like he noticed that I was throwing away some of his old toys and so he rooted through the donation bag for toys he doesn't even play with anymore because he noticed they were in a plastic bag. That looks exactly like a fucking, like the bags we use for trash. Like, I have to tie those up and take them to donation. And I, I use a little suitcase to take stuff to donation because I oh, take the book. Okay, um, because you know it's three flights of stairs and it's a big ass giant Excellent fucking work. bag of trash, right? So I use a little suitcase. Al Lucy has found the little suitcase, and he has decided to fill it with like half-eaten oranges. Which of the spoomy shit. pools should I collect this icarus substance from? And how can I do it without getting covered in bile? Life with a three-year-old, but he's very, very cute. Wrong. Would it be here? Yeah, Lu L Lucius does something very similar, but nonverbal. He will. Give me a stuffed animal, and he will have a stuffed animal, and he will want them to kiss. Do be careful. Don't rush about and scatter. Or he will hand me a stuffed animal, and make me kiss it, and then make the stuffed animal kiss him. So it's like kiss potato, like kiss hot potato or something. Yeah. It's, it's adorable and bizarre. With Lucius around, um, the conversation would go like, like, do you want to talk? Lucius, what does Car say? <laughs> He's actually getting better at conversation, you know. Today, um, he was upset. He wanted juice in his water bottle, but it was already like half full of water, but he wanted like the juice flavor. And I didn't know, I, I like, he handed me the bottle and I was like, Lucius, this has water in it. It's half full. And he started, he was like, eh. you know, he's unhappy. And I was like, 
I don't know what you want, Lucius. And he shoved we'll it in my hand, in walked team. away and said, come here. And then he walked, he led me to the fridge and tugged at the handle. And then I opened the fridge and he pointed to a juice bottle and said, juice. <laughs> so he's getting there. He's beginning to understand. Got to be better than that to stop us. Aww. Lucius just goes to the fridge door and tugs on it when he's hungry. Like, he will sometimes name food. Like, he knows yogurt, he knows peach, he knows apple, he knows orange. Uh, more often, he'll just tug on the door and go, eh, until I open it, and then he'll, like, grab something himself, which is fine most of the time. Um, but we're, you know, he's actually starting to request yogurt, like, rather than grabbing it, he'll he'll go to the fridge and say, yogurt. Oh, very cute. But Letty, man, she has a lot of words. She's a very self-actualized child. Be gone! My fate line is my own. Your life is mine. Did you hear? <laughs> Never mind. Welcome. This should be most illuminating. We light the flames to summon Tem, the omen of destiny. Come before us. Tem is summoned. Ask your questions, make your offerings. We offer the dust of an ancient spell. I seek the location of my former colleague, Martina Abor. Tem's eyes have seen you, Asander Alcibiades. You search for one who does not wish to be found. <laughs> How dare you? Size doesn't matter. We offer the talent of a seeker. <laughs> I need Martina to correct an error. Where are they? You tamper with fate, mortal. Tem sees a darkness approaching. One you have unmoored. But look at my itty bitty waist in the round Daedra, thing in your I face. I have called, and you must answer. <laughs> With Icor as payment, I command you. Where can I find Martina Abor? I shall answer, but not to you, Arcanist. Ten will speak with the one who made the offerings. What do those tentacles do? Tim sees you, the short, the Arcan. Questions asked and answered. Farewell, mortals. Damn, boy, what those tentacles do. <laughs> Rather well. It seems we're There's no such the thing as an innocent daydreamer, first of all. The underweek. Oh, yeah. Yes, 
Of that, I have no doubt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But I had to make the Temmuticles joke because Tem. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> it's so cute. Are they playing their tummies while they dance? Well, a baby, a baby Daedra would Not definitely be, be an innocent Daedra, okay. Fascinating. I'm curious about something, and it's absolutely none of my business, but, uh, what the fuck happened to Grace, uh, not Grace, uh, what the fuck happened to Esther's ear? Oh. Shard. Got a scroll. Oh, let me fuck with my skills for a sec. Oh, okay, so I have this equipped, so I will, I will do that. Okay. 
Okay, I got a scroll. I'm gonna do my scroll because. Wait, to the scroll, um, it it pauses when I log out and resumes when I log back in, right? I was legally blind growing up and I threw my glasses at bullies and broke them more than once. And yeah, my family always replaced them, but they were not happy about it. Yeah, now that you've told me about her ear situation and hearing aid thing, I definitely think she did the whole quiet sign thing just to start drama. She needs to just not. She needs to like stop existing. Treasure must be our lucky day. Need something.
I feel like your mom coddles her. Damn it, Martina. Dead. I had hoped. Oh. Why must the most brilliant among us fall to curiosity's blade? Take a look around, if you don't mind. I need a moment. No idea what that concoction is. Curious. Wait, it's not her home? Where, Where is her home? Why doesn't she go there? Martina was a zealous note taker. That may be helpful to our inquiry. She's 18. Perhaps <laughs> you, uh, might find. Come, come. Let's talk. I, uh, wish. I hope I can honor Martina's men. I could cipher's minute. They don't, they don't force her to deal with the consequences of her shit. And she's a spoiled ass fucking brat. Yeah. She's a spoiled ass fucking brat, yeah. No, that needs to stop. Welcome. I've just been... It's time to put my... Observe this thaumaturgical quadrant. Gripping the key, activate each of the beacons. Fathom's Drift. Superlative! The Drift is in She's the far mentally north ill, that doesn't mean she should I'll get away with everything. Like, I'm mentally ill. That don't mean shit. That means I see a psychiatrist, I take my fucking that medication. Rough. That's what that means. I'm curious what we might find. Yeah, and to be honest, that's something I struggle with, too. Like, my therapist will say, Hey, Segan, do you want to do this, you know, do you want to do this thing you said last week you want to do? I'm like, I really don't want to do it. And then I'll, like, rethink it. I'm like, uh, if I don't do it now, I'm just never going to do it. So, okay, let's make a call. Nobody.
Yeah, of course not. A mortal. Hello? Over here. Wait, she has a job? She's allowed around here. I'm sorry, I'm being judgmental. Because she fucking called your baby a stupid bitch baby and said your fetus needs to die. Like, someone who talks like that should not be allowed around kids. Dude, I hated kids. I hated kids and I hated kids. Into the drift! Huzzah! Yeah, probably goodies to keep an eye out. So she's so she gets paid to do literally nothing, $150 a week. That's so much. Jesus Christ. I want that job. Gee, I could see. I used to hate kids, and I used to kind of have that reaction, like other uh, people's kids. But when my coworker had a baby, I was still like, okay, yeah, I'll hold him for like two seconds. Oh, so cute. Here you go. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Like, oh, so cute. Okay, here you go. I got a pee pie. <laughs> <laughs> what? A bread, untie it. The next, and the next. Ah! She's disgusting and repulsive, first of all. Oh, I hate babies, except for mine. <laughs> no, I mean, you're, like, yours is also very, very cute. Like, people that I like, I tend to be okay with their babies. Um, and, like, if I would... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, and Eli's the same way. Like, his kids, he loves his kids. And he loves, like... He loves like the idea of Lucius. It's like I love the idea of his kids, but like if we had to like spend, oh no, he actually babysits some that of the neighbor kids sometimes. I'm not sure I could do that. But like if I was in a situation like if if you and I lived close and you needed just a fucking mental health day, I could probably I I like something. handle Letty for a few hours or something like that. Yeah, this is like this Look is my there. friend's kid. I hear about her. Let's I know like I, I know what kind of baby she is. 
Yeah, I know what kind of baby Stop she is, and she can she can I'm talk, she can use her words. What? Like that's fine. A sailor? Not, not a problem. But if Come I have to on. handle somebody's like I haven't three months to be a old, colicky ass baby that Build spits up and cries and every bread. time you I'll blink at it, it, no, that. <laughs> Oh my god. Ah, such potential. Stronger now. Twitching tentacles, what is that? I grow stronger. Mm -hmm. Quickly, use the key. These room forms should banish that thing. We will not be undone. <laughs> it worked! Oh, I what we just... <gasps> yeah, see, that's... That's not what I would do. That's not what I would do. I have a fucking temper. And there are times, oh god, this is really something I shouldn't say on stream, so I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna message you on Xbox. I'm pretty sure I've actually told you this before. <coughs> and that is the react, like what I just texted you is the reaction I would probably have to somebody else's misbehaving kid. Except I could, you know, well, either way, I'd get in trouble if anybody, like, knew about it and, like, told somebody, right? But, Jesus Christ, someone's kid... Yeah, that's exactly actually what happened when I... So, I told you that one time I was on probation for assault with a deadly weapon. Um... I might have told you the circumstances of that, but there were some undisciplined kids making a lot of noise outside my window. I freaked the fuck out. They, it turns out that they were like poking at my kittens with sticks. And like, I ran out with it. Like I, I told them to fuck off. They didn't fuck off. Like I told them verbally, you need to leave. They didn't leave. Ah, so I went outside with a knife and waved them off. And then static. their fucking parents Emotions called the police even. on me for brandishing a weapon at their kids that they weren't disciplining like how do you know what i was doing when you weren't even watching your own fucking kids incredible yeah no. and then i had to go through the court system the mental health court i like i pled no contest and all that but i had to go through Together, fucking mental health court for two years before my record was expunged and i had to basically plead insanity and cry in front of my lawyer just to like not get in trouble for to getting some kids to fuck the fuck off and stop torturing animals like what and i hate it i hate that it makes sense i hate that you know like exactly what i'm talking about Yeah. Yep. That has actually, that has happened to me. But, like, instead of, like, with a kid, because I'm very careful about how I treat children now that I'm an adult. Okay. But there, when I was a when I was a kid, when I was in middle school, I bapped a teacher with an empty backpack, and she called the cops on me. That's a, it was, but this empty empty backpack. Yeah, I was twelve years old. My TA was being a bitch, so I I bapped her with an empty backpack. She called the police. The police were like. Don't do that again, please. Say thanks, bye. 
Like, I got the cops called on me so many times at that school, and it was always for minor shit. Except for the time that I accidentally choked out one of my classmates, but he knocked my glasses off center, and the first, you know, thing within reach happened to be his, his neck. That was, that was a legitimate accident, but because he was my ex, um, they thought to, something else was going on there. But, no, I was constantly getting in trouble, I, and I had the police call on me for, like, the tiniest little things, and it was absolutely a waste of police resources and you could tell the cops felt that way but uh, I also learned how to cry on cue in front of the police so you know upside I guess <laughs> and now like as an adult um, like I'm not gonna I'm not dumb enough to like run if I see a cop if I see someone in uniform and they like smile politely say hi you know treat them like like anybody but yeah, no, I avoid the police and I avoid situations where I can get jammed up. Okay, I'm... Alright, can we go into town? Or into, like, a different town? No? Okay. That's cool. I'll just, I'll just wander into the water and get eaten by tentacles, that's fine. <laughs> But no, I hate fucking undisciplined kids, but like, I mean, it's not a, like, it's not a red flag if someone doesn't like kids, but it's definitely a red flag if somebody just hates all animals, like, what? And like, how, how is she scared of all animals? Like, how is she scared of animals? That doesn't make any, cause she's like, she's like this crazy violent bitch, like, I don't want to encourage the idea, or I don't want to like put out the bad juju that she might hurt an animal, but like she's a crazy violent bitch. Like why, why would, I feel like the animal should be afraid of her, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I mean for me there's animals that I am like viscerally afraid of that I've had to like kind of train myself to be mellow around. Like if I see a wasp, I, I stand still as a statue. Then they think you are a statue. They sniff at you and then they go away. <laughs> like, okay, this is boring. Bye. Um, also floral perfume is stupid and nobody should ever wear it because that attracts bees and wasps. But anyway. Um, oh, and then, Probably. yes, it is always this crowded Sharpie. Shut up. Check this out. Okay, yeah, I was looking at the map, but yeah. I've already horsed. Okay, I'm traveling. So yeah, like there's there's if I see a spider or something, I'll try to talk to it and say Hey, buddy, be sure to eat, because I, like, viscerally don't like spiders, but it's like, I know it's not going to kill me. It's just going to make me really, really uncomfortable because it's going to munch on my flesh because I have super high blood sugar and I smell sweet to bugs and I hate it. But as for hating, like, thinking all animals are either terrifying or disgusting, like, that's fucked up. Oh, there's Quirky, <laughs> and then there's this bitch. Okay, so do I go like through the gate to access the area? Do I look around like a smart person? I've stabled. Come, do your trading here. So, yeah, there's Quirky, and then there's this bitch. Like, she. I'm. I wouldn't be like scared of her necessarily, but she sounds like a fucking ticking time bomb and she sounds like somebody I would absolutely want to like either keep far, far away from or beat the shit out of one of the two, depending on my mood that day. 
preferably stay far, far away from, though, because, like, that's a whole host of issues that I don't need to deal with. Also, violence is, like, exhausting. Yeah, I know. Wait, is this the crafty area? Am I still following you? What's going on? Oh. Okay. How old was she? Oh god, someone tried that shit with me, they would, well, either they would get their ass whooped or I would try to whoop their ass and then get my ass whooped. But, yeah, no, that's not, that's not okay, Jesus. Oh no, 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 no. Not that I'd be shocked, it's that I'm naturally violent. See, I, the thing is, is that part of my, um, one of the things that I want to do is work with troubled teens, but not that fucking troubled, okay? Not like, not like throw it in a box somewhere so it can't ever hurt anyone troubled. But more like, oh, this kid could benefit from some love and understanding type trouble. Like, that I can handle. <coughs> but, no. She's an abomination. And she needs to just not. <coughs> that's like as far as I can go without saying something that's incredibly sacrilegious. What? I don't remember you telling me that. What the fuck? No. No. That 
No, what she was saying, that is some gaslighting bullshit. Absolutely fucking not. Don't mind the big. What? Yeah, no, she is a train wreck. And, yeah, this is something I really just should not say. This is a thing that it's, it's incredibly sacrilegious. You know, it's blasphemous as all hell. You know how people say uh, God doesn't make mistakes? They haven't met Esther. <laughs> I'm a bad person, I apologize. <laughs> Let me uh, talk to any kind of person I can sell shit to. Fine goods oh and fair God. prices. Hello. Hello people. Hello sir. I don't give a shit whose fault. Exactly. I don't give a shit whose fault it is. Like, no, no one's, you know, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, um, if somebody, the crazy person, hits you in the head with a bat and you get a concussion, it doesn't matter whether it's their fault that they're crazy. At the end of the day, you still have a fucking concussion. No. Mm -mm. Bitch, please. Don't, you know. Only the finest wares here. Or just taking care of it while it's still, like, again, that's a thing that I probably shouldn't advocate for, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's, but, like, with the problems that she has, what if some of them are genetic? That's gonna make life hell for the child and, you know, 
and whoever ends up with it because it absolutely should not fucking be her. Jode, Nani, Jejota. Jode, Denima, Jejota. Yeah, the thing is, is I would say, well, you know, she needs guardianship, like an adult, like an adult guardianship, because um, I used to work Here in a conservator's you office, and but collectors, test your wits and courage. I honestly, that would probably be like the petitioners would be your parents and you don't have something like Good Shepherd Fund who could like take over that response. And even if you could, it's stupid expensive. Uh, alchemy? Oh wait, I don't think I've picked up anything for alchemy. No, never mind. I'm gonna log out here, actually, but... Um...